going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Okay, so you ready to go? Yeah, just give me a sec. I need to grab something upstairs. Cool. Jordan? Jordan? You okay? Jordan? Are you okay? Jordan? Jordan, are you okay? I heard that sound and I, I was worried about you. There's no need to worry. I just wanted you to come up here and meet my children. They're starving. This story is about a type of yokai, a ghost of Japanese folklore. Jorogumo is a spider, able to change its appearance into that of a seductive woman, to lure men into its web so that it can devour them. So now let's go trap some people in our webs. Starting out with our NYX Angel Veil Primer, we're just going to put this all over our face, neck, and chest so that our makeup will hold all day and all night. We do want to give ourselves a general outline of where the mouth is going to be, just because we are going to be filling it in completely with paint so there'd be no use putting foundation all over our face. With the NYX Studio HD Foundation, I am just going to lightly dab it on my face with a sponge so that I have a little bit more coverage. Now, just to start drawing in her mouth, I'm using that same eyeliner pencil we used earlier, and I wanted to give her these very creepy fangs and teeth so that she could be chomping down on those menfolk. I do want to give her kind of an exoskeletal look, so I am starting the contour, putting that in the temples and around the hairline of my forehead. To start on our crazy eyes on top of our other eyes, I am just looking in the mirror as a reference to see my exact eye shape. You want to do this, obviously, three other times just to kind of make sure they all match together. And just go ahead and fill the eyes in with a little bit of off-white body paint. Then just going in with a little bit of light blue body paint, I'm going to fill in the iris of the eye. As for this portion of the eye, we do want these to look as realistic as possible. So basically, look at a reference picture of your own eye or of an eye you do want to choose. I'm using body paint all right here just to darken up the whole outside of the iris and I want to focus on the upper part of the iris to make a little darker. If you look at eyes closely, they have these weird kind of lines going from the outside of the iris into the pupil. So we're just using different colors to achieve that look. Just keep adding lots and lots of dimension. Just throw dimension all up on that. Using the black primal eyeshadow from NYX, I am going to have a shadow from the top lid onto the eye. And pretty much cover most of the outside of the white portion of the eye with a little bit of shadow. Adding those little highlights in your eyes are so, so crucial to make it look realistic. Add them on to the iris itself, and then a little bit towards the very center of the white portion of the eye. This will help to make the eye look a little more wet. We want the eye to look as three-dimensional as possible, so draw in your upper and lower lid. Fill in your tear duct with just a little bit of light pink body paint, and then using the NYX liquid liner in black, go ahead and draw on your lashes as long or as short or as full as you want them. We're going to go ahead and start on the mouth. Right now I am just filling in the gums with a little bit of pink body paint. 
With NYX's Jumbo Pencil and Black Bean, we're going to start filling in the center of the mouth because that is essentially where it would be darkest because that is right down the throat. Since the throat would be black, we're just going to blend out into a dark red body paint and then into a lighter pink body paint the farther out we go. We want to create as much depth as possible. Using a NYX angled brush and that NYX primal black eyeshadow again, we're just going to start blending down to create a shadow right underneath where that skin would be on the gums and underneath the fangs. What we are trying to achieve here is realism, as much as possible at least, and so realistically, if there was a light shining down on us, there would be shadow underneath where the skin is and underneath where the fangs are as well. We're going to start on the teeth, so we are using a light yellow body paint to completely fill them in, and then as you go, we're going to start shading them to look a little more aged. Use some darker yellows, browns, and blacks to draw lines to just make the teeth look a little more rigid. Just like with the eyes, adding highlights to the teeth can really add that pop of realism. Focus the White NYX liquid liner more towards the top and tip of the tooth. When your teeth connect with your gums, they do have a little bit of an indention, so I'm just making that indention pop out a little more with a little bit of white body paint. We want these to look curved, so I'm going back in with that dark red body paint, and I am going to start kind of adding shadow on the sides of the indentions of the gums, and underneath on the bottom portion. I am just blending that out with a fluffy brush, and then to add even more dimension, which, you know, you guys should know by now, I love that dimension, I am using that black primal eyeshadow from NYX just to go in between those little indentions of the gums and blend that out. Use a little bit of a white liquid liner to add a little bit of pop of highlight, and then we are going to use a very, very light pink body paint to add in the curve of where the throat would be. Using the shades Taupe, Raven, and the Chaser from NYX, I am going to start drawing on this mangled portion of her face. Since she does have this large open mouth, there would be a ton of wrinkles that would be cast onto her face, and so her skin would definitely not look perfect. Try to think of it if you were scrunching up your nose, you have all these nasty wrinkles going on. For some highlighting, we are using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And this is just so that those wrinkles and mangled pieces will pop out even more. A general rule to try to keep in mind is that for every shadow, there is a highlight right nearby. Using the NYX blushes in colors Crimson and Deep Plum, we're going to start adding some color around her eyes. This will make her eyes look swollen and a little more sunken in and irritated. I'm loosely putting this all over her face because I want her to look as grungy and gross as can be. I did want to add some creepy veins, so using some very watered down blue and red body paint, I am just lightly drawing on some veiny shapes and then tapping it into the skin just so that they aren't quite as intense. Alright, now onto the spiders. We are going to be drawing a ton of these that they look like they are just coming from a little egg sac on my chest and crawling up. So we're starting out with some NYX liquid liner in black, drawing their bodies, then their head, their little mandibles, and their legs. I want them in a ton of different positions so that they all don't look the same. So many spiders. So many spiders. Just so that the spiders pop out a little more, I am adding some NYX white liquid liner onto their bodies and onto their legs just a little bit. Using some Raven eyeshadow from NYX, I am going to add a little bit of a shadow underneath the spiders just so that they look a little more 3D. I wanted the veins to continue down onto my neck and chest, so I'm just using the exact same technique that we used earlier on the face. 
For one last finishing touch, I'm adding on some NYX More To Love mascara onto the top and bottom lashes of my eyeballs. And there is the finished Jorogumo. She's ready and willing to take on the world, Hans family. Together, we are Team Hans. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was really fun to do, to do this beautiful spider lady. Do remember that this is to hopefully make it to the top 12 of the next face awards. I would love to earn your vote. You can vote from June 26th to July 3rd, three times a day per email. So make sure to get those votes in for your favorite artist to make it to the top 12 and hopefully to the top six to compete in the final. I really appreciate all of you guys that helped vote me into the top 20. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to make it this far. So thank you so much, and I appreciate my Team Hans family. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. So when I say go, count back from three and then go. Okay. So you have time to cut. Okay. Go. So you ready to go? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna pee. I say, you're like, hey, get ready to go. And I'm like, no. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. You I need to pee. pee. <laughs> you're literally saying that. We'll never get ready. Oh, okay, so I wait to for you. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wait, I calm down. I need to pee, fam. What's down. wrong? I need to pee. I don't know how to unlock my door. It's hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I got lots of wax on dress last night from candles. Wax dress, wax dress. Ha 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 ha. Not enough. Okay, I think it's good now. <laughs>